what is going on everybody so i'm down here on the bottom area i need to get some rock up at that top spot i was talking to come on and i was going to go in there and move all the blocks around for the garden area and then come in from the top and he's like dude you don't have to do that just drive over the logs get up there and just dump it dude the tractor can do it i was like all right well hey man i'm just babying it it's not mine <laughs> so come on gave me the go ahead I'm going to climb up these and uh, start dumping it from basically up there, uh, from down here. I'm going to have to stake down all these, but uh, right now I just need to fill it in and make it to where the fabric can stay. And we don't have anything eroding away. Once the rocks are all in place, it should keep those logs from moving right now. I'm trying to keep the kids out of this area, but uh, yeah, you know how it goes. I'm going to get up there, start dumping these loads. Um, yeah. It's, it's working out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's, uh, it's nuts what you can do with a tractor. And I am definitely having some tractor fever because, uh, yeah, it is super useful to have a tractor. And I am super, super thankful for come on for having a tractor because I get to borrow it. But uh, I got tractor fever. <sighs> Later on down the road, I'm definitely going to get myself one because... Man, I like it. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot. All right, well, I got to get up here and get to work. UPS man is here. Yeah. The man of the day. The man of the day. I got you got my front strain fabric. All right. I got it. I just got 
build this morning for my second bill of Starlink, and um, <laughs> we haven't even used it yet. So we're gonna hook up our Starlink over here to Camp Life, so I can stop going over to Country Road Cures Thunderdome being a mooch. <laughs> Not that they mind, but but it'll be nice to have it over here at Camp Life. There she is. Not yet. There it goes. I got it. You be like right there. Is this the part that gets easily messed up? So explain what happened with Country Road Cure when they tried to set up their Starlink. Well, look at this, first off. If you look straight at this guy, this thing bent automatically from the factory. So I hope it just slides in. But it's supposed to go right into this guy. I can't see the hole. Oh, it's supposed to go into there. Just all the way back there. And you can't really see what's going on once you go to put this in. So I'm hoping this slides in. Ha <gasps> ha, I got, I got lucky. <laughs> so mine just slid right in. Okay, that's, that's where it's at. His went to go in and it wouldn't just slide in. It's supposed to go like that, but I guess that's a common thing. I, they probably fixed it. Sorry, Anthony. Mine just slid right in. So that goes in there and clips in. I think we put it over on this side like this. And so this pipe, guys, the only reason why we have the pipe out is so that way the cord doesn't get stepped on or walked on too much. Um, we're not burying it. We're not messing with it. It's very, very temporary setup that we have going on for our Starlink. We just want to have internet here at Camp Life. That's a lot faster than what our phones can give us. So. Yes. All right, so now with that, they also give you a nice fancy outlet. Ooh, look at that thing. That's pretty. Uh, this is the, uh, is this the instructions? Yeah, here's your instructions. They make it a picture for the illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
Thank you do guys. Not, How'd do, you know? Do not grab dish. <laughs> Plug in there. Plug the other end into this. Yeah, there you go. Plug this into power. Go online and you will be able to find your account. All right. Well, let's go plug that thing in and let's see if uh, we can get it working over here at Camp Life. Pretty point and shoot, right? Yeah, Starlink obviously is very easy to set up. Um, we do have several obstructions in this area with all of those trees, but there is a big portion of clear area and the app on the phone says that this is not the prime location to set it up at, but that we should still be able to use it here. And um, some Starlink is better than no Starlink and just relying on the cell phone. So we're hoping that it works out really good for us. So we're gonna set this box here in the laundry room. In a spot where it's not gonna get moved or messed with. Yeah. This. All right, guys, now for the moment of truth, we're gonna run the speed test because I got the whole thing all hooked up and ready to go. Let's find out. says that my internet connection is fast. Woohoo! So today's been a really uh, fun day. We yes. got the Starlink all set up. We did a little bit of the rock work over here, cleaning up this uh, camp life area. Yep. Getting it on the tractor some more, getting nope, that practice nope. in. And now we got Robertson's Belly Acres here. Nope. Uh, we've been so excited and waiting for them to show up because they're delivering us a whole hog that we purchased and it's going straight from their truck to our freezer camp. So yep, yep. yeah, I'm super excited about it, guys. Um, we're gonna go greet them and say hello. I think they're gonna be setting up their tent. Oh yes. And uh, we got some plans to go over to our good friend David with Mr. Come On. Uh, we're going over to Come On Mountain tonight for some barbecuing and fellowship with the family, so I'm excited for that. And check out Robertson's Belly Acres and Mama V. Yeah. We're going to do a how-to. Ready? Ready. This is how not to do it. <laughs> we're done. We're done. Tent setting up 101. Yay. This is a good spot to be set up for the tent. Nice shady spot. Yep. Mm -hmm. Next to power, too? Power. Yep. Yeah. Because we, we're glampers. Hey, I'm all for it. <laughs> you guys got the air mattress, yeah? You have to yes. have it. Yes. Have to have an air mattress. Air mattress. You know, we could have been really cheap, but we could have just slept in the, in the horse trailer. Just brought an air mattress and slept in the trailer. I mean, <laughs> could have. I wouldn't knock you. So we're going to help them and watch them get their accommodations set up. And, uh... Then we're gonna go check out the freezer and fill it up because I'm really excited about that. I took a peek inside the coolers that they brought. Oh man, so much meat. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys too. Rusty and Rachel, set up a tent. Take one. Take 27. Take 9,000. Okay, so what do they go? Clamped into this, babe? Yeah, go in the plastic.
I'm thinking this is going together way too easy. This can't be the right <laughs> first try. Can we do something right on the first try? Uh, uh, we're going to do it possible. I thought we were going to do it. See, I put the zipper part over the door. Oh. Yeah, that would make sense, actually. Right? So are you ready to take a look at all the meat? Yes. I'm really, really excited about this. I'm going to have a whole thing. <laughs> Butchered. Ready to go. I'm, I'm so excited to see all this meat. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Just... Oh, we can't do that. What do we got? What do we got? So what do we got? this one. Check it out. All of this is bacon. Oh. And this is all sausage or oh ground pork. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep, one pound bags of sausage. That is awesome, dude. Good breakfast. Yes, wow. And you gotta pay attention when you get it out. <laughs> Unfortunately, all the bags are blue. Okay. You have to read if it's pork sausage, pork sausage or ground pork. Or it'll say ground pork. So maybe like, ground like oh, I see. Look at all that meat, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, bacon. That's a lot of bacon. That's a lot of breakfast. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's look in. Freezer number two. This is a big freezer too. My goodness. There's three more pounds or four, four more pounds of ground. Oh my gosh. My pride. There's pork chops, pork steaks. Oh my gosh. Ham steaks, I guess, not pork steaks. That is half a ham. Oh my goodness. And then there's this one. There's two of them this side. Holy moly, look at that. You are set up. That's, for... a, that's a thick boy right there. What is that, steak? Ham. No, ham. that's a ham roast, babe. A ham? Yeah. Look at that. Mm. that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ham steaks. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. 207 pounds. Did you hear that? 207 pounds. <laughs> we got a lot of meat. So Gary, you want to <laughs> start handing me stuff and we'll be filling this freezer? Let's do, you want to do the... I don't know what, you tell me what you when. want. It's your freezer. When? It's your when? Freezer. Let's put this bacon in there. freezer down at the bottom we got our chicken and some cheese and like I guess a couple random things this middle section right here we got some fish and vegetables this one right here is the beef not very much beef I need to get more and then we got all this pork 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 sausage ground pork and then bacon and then of course just some random things and whatnot but man my freezer is looking good and full and uh, I'm happy because we got a little bit closer to some food security so Good stuff.
Thank you, Rusty and Rachel. Absolutely, thank Robertson's you. Robertson's belly acres for the win. I love it. So we're on our way now to go to uh, David's. Come on with the come on. Going to yes. Come On Mountain. Got Mama B. Got all three of the kids. Me and Gary. Little Miss Luna. Miss Luna. And behind us, back over there, I don't know if you could see him or not, mm -hmm. uh, but we got Robertson's Belly Anchors following behind. Uh, we're meeting Country Road Cure over there, Bar Run Forge, and of course Mr. Come On with the Come On. So we're going to have a very good night tonight. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, David has been smoking a pork butt like all day. So we're going to go over there and go feast out with the family and enjoy this uh, beautiful evening. Yes, it's, uh, it's beautiful today, man. It is. I hope tomorrow is just as good because we got a lot of stuff we got to get done. It's supposed to be beautiful the next couple of days. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to it. What's up guys? We just made it to Come On Mountain. <laughs> What's yes. going on guys? Mr. Welcome to the mountain. Come on live in the flesh. That's right. That's You've been right. working on some good groceries. Oh yeah, we throwing down on the big green egg today. I can smell it, man. I want to take a peek. You want to take a peek? I want to take a peek. Man. I don't I think you're it. ready. I might be a little ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I can smell it. I'm like, dude, I gotta, I gotta uh, look at this. We're let's, like drooling. <laughs> let, let, let's see what we're gonna work with on this off grid cabin. Come on. Let's get it. Oh man, the cabin is looking Exceptionally beautiful today, David. Thank you. Thank you. You've done a good job. We're getting there. You've done, you sure. done a good job, bro. Let's let's see. Gary, get over here. I can smell it. Oh, I'm smelling it, dude. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Let's see it. Let's see it. You got to burp the egg. Oh. That's actually the thing. It's not to burn you. Oh. Oh, Ooh, my buddy. gosh. That thing's like... Falling apart already. Look at that. Look at that. Bet y'all didn't know that he could throw down like that, huh? <laughs> it's all in the editing. No, 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 no. This guy can cook some mean food. So what we got going on in here for the folks at home? What do we got? Uh, we got a pork butt right here that I've been cooking since about 10 o'clock this morning. What time is it now? Probably 6, 6, 7. Six or seven. Tonight. Sipping cream 30. Yeah, sipping cream 30. So it's been cooking probably for about, I don't know, eight hours. Looks good. Got a good bark on it. We got some jalapeno poppers. And then I just had some drumstick legs that I needed to cook. So I went in and threw them on there too, threw a little seasoning on there. Yeah. I'll make a homemade barbecue sauce. We'll toss it, shred it, and make some barbecue sliders. Yum. Good stuff. Right there. That looks good, dude. Yeah. I'm excited. Gary and I have drool like hanging off of our jowls. We're like, oh, I'm just yes. it looks yes. so good. Oh man, the kids are thoroughly enjoying your rock pile. I see you got some rock. Yes, yes, we got some rock. Got a little rock action going on. Yep, yep, that's for a future project here on the mountain. Yeah, Wyatt says he's king of the mountain. I'm queen of the mountain. I am the king of the mountain. Prove it. I am. Yes. <laughs> Rock pile, keep them busy for hours oh, and yeah. hours. That was one of my favorite games whenever I was young. King of the mountain. King of the mountain. Yep. And uh, we did bring Luna to come over and hang out with Eclipse, and they're over there torturing each other. Nonstop. Nonstop. Luna just keeps picking on Eclipse and picking on her and picking on her, but that's what sisters are for, right? So they're getting it. Look at all that spit on the back. It's so disgusting. Who do we have here? Surprise! Hey. <laughs> Robertson's Belly Acres made oh, it to come on mountain. We're still hanging out. Yeah, still hanging out. 
and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Troy from Bar Run Forge. There we go. That's B A Triple R U N F O R G. With his forearms. See, I knew that, but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that. So, where'd you travel from for all the folks at home? From Southern Ohio. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I came in yesterday to almost Little Rock and then flew in here this morning. Uh, we were doing a project to help out uh, Anson from Ivy's Family Factotum to bring their camper in and uh, then come over here and visit with you guys. Man, I'm, that's awesome. I love Anson and Gladys over yeah. at uh, Ivy's Family. They've yeah. been good friends of ours since we first started our channel. So. Yeah, and yeah. they're going to be close now. They're I know. Be right close to you guys. And they'll be able to come out for these family nights, cooking events, <laughs> and hanging outs, and all this stuff. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I know I put you on the spot. No, You're it's like, okay. Oh. I'm excited. I'm excited to be here and be with all you guys and hanging out. It's it's been a lot of fun. So it's, it's, we do it's it. even been fun to hang out with David. Yeah, I mean, that says a lot. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty boring. Just me and Eclipse. Hmm. Eclipse don't even like talking to me most of the time. Oh, it's okay. Aww. It's all right. I got you guys. <laughs> hey, forever and ever. Aww. Ever and ever. And forever ever. and ever. <laughs> so what do you think about David's uh, Come On Mountain? I love it. I, I, am, I told him earlier, I'm a, I'm a mountain fanatic. I love mountains and rivers and anything like that. So to come out here, see magazine and everything around here, uh, I just absolutely love it. And then to come up here, I love what he's doing. He, you know, he's making such a great effort. Uh, like you guys are just, you guys are killing it. All <laughs> the guys, man. Just going out there and working hard. You know, they talked to us about homesteading. Uh, my family has owned our farm since 1909, so 100—I forgot the math. How does that work? 113 years or something like something that, like whatever that, yeah. that is. But anyway, so I, t I guess technically we're homesteaders, and we've been working on it for 113 years. You guys have just keep flying. You just <laughs> kill it, man. You're, you get a whole homestead put together in a year or two years or months for crying out loud. And we're still working on 113 years later. Oh, uh, well, it's, a, you know, it's a lot of physical labor yep. and um, pre-planning. I would mental. say pre-planning. Yeah. There's a lot of mental. Labor. Yeah. And yes. I, th I told him mental earlier, for I said, sure. he said, I just feel like I'm never going to get done. I said, 113 years. We're still not done. Yeah. You know, we're still working on stuff that my great grandpa was working on, you know, 75 years ago. So. Yeah. yeah, it just never ends. <laughs> well, we're putting in the work out here, man. If you're ever yeah. in this area again, definitely come back out to the 41.36 and no come on out to, to come on mountain. And, and it'll probably look different. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Every look time. Next week. Yeah. yeah. It'll definitely look different next week. Without a doubt. So we're going to go around the, the <laughs> we're all bunching in here yeah. for this shot, guys. But we're going to go around the corner and uh, get this fire going and hang out a little bit. We will check back in with you when it's grub time That's or right. in a little while. We'll be checking back in soon. Yep. Come on. Later. You got a little bit of that special sauce. Come on. A little bit of that sauce. Come oh, on. Oh, man. Is it a secret sauce? It's a secret sauce. Can you tell me later when I turn the camera off? Yep. All right. <laughs> the family recipe. That's it. Oh, man. We already moved the pork butt out of here. Yep, I see that. It's now you just saucing up all of the chicken. Want jalapeno poppers? Does the bear in the woods? I get a jalapeno early. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's the shower. Hey, I like your shower, bro. You got a shower with a view. That's right. That's awesome. Where's that bag? <laughs> yeah, somebody rolls up my driveway. Hey, how's it going? How y'all doing? <laughs> Today, I'm actually going to be cooking some of this amazing bacon that was uh, brought over to us by Robertson's Belly Acres from that pig that we bought from them. 
and I'm so excited because it's farm fresh and it looks and smells so delicious and I can't wait to get it in our belly. So we've still got uh, Rusty and Rachel from Robertson's Belly Acres hanging out over here today, uh, chilling with us. So I'm gonna get going on a good breakfast so that way we can start our day off right. Um, I've got stuff out here already. I'm gonna be making some uh, waffles. I'm gonna be doing the bacon right here in the skillet. And I'm using our Blue Eddy to power it all because if I plug it into the trailer, um, we're gonna be having surging issues and whatnot all the time. So Blue Eddy to the rescue. Homegrown bacon, fresh waffles. It's gonna be a good day. Peanuts. Ooh, buddy. You know what the peanuts are? Mm. Charlie Brown. How is that? Throat is, man. Mm. That's some good bacon right there. I like bacon. Mm. Bacon! <laughs> All right, so I got me some uh, Robertson's Belly Acres peach syrup. Mm mm mm. Let me give it a little, little taste. Oh my gosh. That's going on my waffle. Oh man. Yeah, buddy. Who else likes crunchy bacon? Crunchy bacon to me is the only way to go. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Sunday carbs don't count. <laughs> it's God's day and he wants us all to be happy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Carbs don't count on the 41.36. Ooh, uh -uh. that's mm -mm. better. Yeah. <laughs> this oil is so good. Oh, this is perfect though. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, you gotta feel the belly. Well, guys, Rusty and Rachel had to just leave right now. Yep. Uh, we had a wonderful morning hanging out with them, enjoying some good breakfast and fellowship. Yep. It was, it was an amazing time. I, we had a great weekend. And yes. uh, we actually took that time to take it off. Yeah, we actually the company. <laughs> relaxed for a weekend, guys. We yes. did. We took your advice and we actually took a weekend off. So, It, yeah. was, uh, it was definitely odd to take no weekend off. But uh, I think that this is something that we need to start doing a lot more of. Yeah. And uh, just work Monday through Friday like a normal job. Yep. So, so. that's what we're going to try to start shooting towards. Uh, again, it's also going to play with weather too. Like if we have a super rainy week and we get nothing done and it's only sunny on the weekend, we will adjust accordingly. Yes. Um, but this weekend we got to hang out with MT Homestead. We got to hang out with Bar Run Forge, uh, Robertson's Belly Acres, Possum yep. Run, uh, Come On, yep. of course, Country Road Cure. Uh, so am I forgetting anybody? I don't think so. I don't think so, but we had a lot yeah, of really yeah. cool, awesome <laughs> friends hanging out with us, traveling near, far, and everywhere in between. Uh, I think the states that congregated this time was Arkansas, Ohio, Oklahoma, and I think that's it. So we yep. had three different states kind of coming together and hanging out, so yep, that, was, yep. that was really cool. But uh, yeah, Gary and I are hot, we're tired, I gotta do laundry, get the kids uh, all squared away and whatnot, so we're gonna end this video and call it for today getting eaten up by bugs yeah. this weekend has been uh, real with the bugs <laughs> really real with the bugs <laughs> so we're gonna have a, a new episode on real talk which actually probably has already premiered for you guys and already been showing we do those videos monday through friday um and they're a quick you know little guess answering questions and giving you a peek on what we've got going on during the day uh you could find the real talk with slr channel right there go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you guys can hang out with us on the daily during the week yes. but we're gonna call it for today's video we are going to get a lot done this next week um, yes. we're hoping to be ready for floor joists by this coming weekend yes. I don't know we're gonna try like hell and try to get it done we got to do the French drains finish all of that over there uh, backfill and yep. then it's floor joist time so we will be working on the basement during the week um, and in the meantime too we have a lot of more stuff that we're trying to work on on those terrace systems now that we got the tractor to borrow um, yeah. And we can't borrow it forever, unfortunately. It's no. not ours, so we got to get the work done while we have the equipment. So. Yes, yes. Yeah. So after relaxing this weekend, I think this next week we will be ready to to get it. Yes, I think this next week it's uh, going to be a lot accomplished. Yeah. And uh, it's given us a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think tomorrow is going to be a good day. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us for this uh, random day in the life type of vlog. Yes. Uh, we love y'all. And until the next one, we hope you have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.